In the fall of 2022, I was given the opportunity of a lifetime to travel to Italy with all of my best friends. This is us putting our deposit down to go on the trip in January 2023. Now I'm about to leave for my trip and vlog everything and take pictures of every single thing because I will probably never go again and this is going to be a life-changing experience. I'm so excited to take you guys along every step of the way. So without further ado, here are the Italy Chronicles. You guys, I leave for Italy in a week. One week, technically one week and half a day, but not really because we leave right in the morning. I am gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't packed at all. Um, I have all my travel supplies. I'm hoping I have everything because at this point I don't really have time to get anything else. And just last night I tried on all of my outfits that I'm gonna be wearing. I'm trying to pack as minimally as possible. We are going for two weeks, technically 12 days we're there for. So I'm trying to build as much of a capsule wardrobe that I can just mix and match everything and pack as lightly as possible which is difficult because I've never been to Italy and it's March, it could be cold and it could be warm and it'll probably be both because we're traveling to a lot of different areas around the country. So I guess this is a pack with me for Italy, jam pack into one week before I leave. I'm so, so excited. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I've never traveled alone before, except for like two hours away, we went away for, um, a week in the summer, but I was with my friend's parents, whereas now I'm going with all of my friends and we are making our way around Italy for two weeks. And this is my senior trip and I am so excited. I can't even put it into words. All right, guys, let's get packing. First, I want to show you all of my supplies for like accessories and travel needs. I got all of this stuff, you've probably seen it before. I got it for my birthday last year, not the one that just happened. So I've been ready for a long time when it comes to travel specific stuff. I have my collapsible water bottle, which I can fill up with fountains along the way. And then when I'm done with it, I can just put it in my bag. It's really small. I have my adapter. Um, this works in many different countries, I'm pretty sure. It has USB-C, um, USB, just like a North American plug, this one, and then this works in Italy, allegedly. I'm just a little bit nervous rooming with at one point five girls in one room and everyone getting ready and trying to do their hair with heat styling products. Um, we don't want to blow any circuits. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm hoping this will work. I am bringing my curling iron, but I will be safe. Here I have my passport holder. It holds cards and then also I guess this is my passport it has some spaces pockets in there um i just got a passport for this trip i've never had a passport before because i've only ever traveled within canada or across the border and then within the states so i just used my nexus card but yeah this is my passport holder and all of my stuff matches so i can all keep track of it I have these two luggage tags, which I think I will use. My friend did get me a really cute luggage tag for my birthday, but I'm thinking I'm gonna use these for my suitcase and my carry-on, and then put the one she got me on like another bag, just so I can keep track that these two go together. I have my jewelry box, which I'm gonna be bringing. Oh, there's a sewing needle pin in there. That's so weird. Um, I think I'm going to be bringing like two necklaces ish. This one I will definitely wear and then I'll probably have like one that I bring and then my earrings I'll just be able to put in here because I sleep with my earrings in but if I did need to take them out I want to have somewhere to keep track of them and yeah I'm probably not going to be bringing that much jewelry because I kind of wear the exact same thing every day when it comes to necklaces and stuff but I'm going to be bringing this just to keep things not tangled. This is my plain blanket and then I also just like go, it has a strap I guess for your suitcase maybe. 
this I will be bringing and then I also have a neck pillow which is in my closet I need to get that and then that also came with an eye mask that's somewhere in my bed and then the last kind of random thing I'm bringing is my Italy notebook I also got this for my birthday two years ago and I'm gonna be diary journaling along the way I am going to be scrapbooking in my scrapbook, but I can also put photos in here and this will just be my like daily debrief so I can remember and then kind of talk about it as a voiceover in my videos, which I just thought of right now, but I think it's smart. This box I'm not bringing with me, but I just, it's cute to bring all of my stuff and then I can put my souvenirs in there when I get back. I also have my earplugs, which you guys just saw in my recent video. It's I got it for my 18th birthday. They're not in my room, but I got a set of packing cubes. They're quite large. The biggest one's like that big. And then it has six ones getting smaller. It also came with two shampoo conditioner bottles, which would be great because I don't have many ones. So I'm just going to fill these up in the next couple days. And then also my friend got me this for my birthday, which you guys saw. It is, oh my gosh, if I can get it out, a travel perfume holder um yeah the lid doesn't really stay on but it's just a spray bottle and you can see how much is in there i got a bunch of trial perfumes that i thought i was going to be bringing but honestly carrying around a bunch of little perfumes is way less practical than just one i decided oh i didn't even realize that they match but i'm gonna put ari my perfume in here this is the ari by ariana grande mist um i have a ton of it it's literally filled up to here because i kind of forgot i had it i got it like last year the year before and it's just been under my bed in my storage but there's a lot of it um does this open oh yes it does oh does it okay guys i might not actually be bringing this perfume because i don't know if the bottle opens oh no it's opening Oh, what the heck? That's okay, welcome to the mad packing. We are just figuring out all the last outfits and I'm about to put them in my suitcase. So I thought I'd show what I'm showing. So I thought I'd show what I'm packing for my trip. I'm bringing a white button up I can throw over for just more of a fashionable layer. My brandy off the shoulder black long sleeve. This goes with pants, skirts, everything. For shirts, I have this Brandy Lace tank top, my Aritzia tube top that I wear with literally every single outfit every day, and then my Aritzia tank top bodysuit, very similar, it goes with everything as well. And then this I can throw over my shoulders or wear as a sweater. I'm bringing this Brandy sweat, this Brandy striped one, another sweater, just this Aritzia quarter zip. And then for more fancy, I'm bringing a blazer. For bottoms, not that it's gonna be super hot, but just in case, I'm bringing these Abercrombie shorts, this Hollister white skirt, black dress pants, and then I'm also packing jeans and I'm wearing my green cargo pants with a black hoodie to the airport. I'm so excited about these. I just got them and they go perfectly with everything, but also my green cargo pants, I'm wearing my new um new balance 530s they're in this light green and blue color they're so cute and then for shoes i'm also bringing just my platform converse they're really dirty but this is after washes and they don't look that bad and then for around the hotel i'm bringing my slippers and then i'm also just bringing normal things just a black basic bikini and then all of my travel things like neck pillow blanket which i already showed i leave tomorrow i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's like 11 45. i didn't get out of bed until like an hour ago because i'm really nervous i've never been like this much away from my parents for that long and i've never been on a flight this long i don't really remember the last flight i was on i was in grade five and like I remember it, but it was a short flight. I haven't experienced that in a while. So I know I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm going with my best friends in the world. Um, but yeah, I just kind of need to get my foot on the plane and go. So right now I'm just putting on the final touches 
for getting ready. I probably won't vlog all of today because I need to edit this video and get it up before I go. And then the rest of the vlogs will come out after I get back. Right now I'm putting on Crest White Strips. These stay on for half an hour. Um, they do hurt my teeth a little bit. It's like the fourth time I'm doing it and they taste disgusting, but it's okay. We're gonna put them on because I want pearly whites before I go. I've done these like four times, like I said, and I think they do really work, so. And then just fold them over. They do give me a lisp, so like I ignore that for the next a little bit. I have an appointment to get my toes and nails done at five. I'm just getting shellac on both. And yeah, that's kind of the plan for today, just finishing up. Hey guys, I just got back from a family lunch and then I went home and showered, finished my packing, and I'm on my way to get my nails done. I'll insert a photo because I'm not sure if I can vlog there and I'm also not going to be finishing the vlog after that. So I'm going to say goodbye here. I'm bringing my computer and everything I need to edit this video while I'm at the salon and then I'm headed to my friend's house before our flight tomorrow morning. So I will see you guys in a few weeks after my first Italy Chronicles vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye!